Hi, my name is Patrick, and I know nothing about car care. Welcome back to Maguire's. Welcome back to Detailing 101. Oh boy, am I excited for this. Yep. <laughs> Today, the aim of the video is going to be teaching you guys and teaching me That's what play. this stuff is. I mean, that already looks a bit brave. Um, what is clay? What is what so is clay? Marvelous it is China clay. Um, it's very consistency wide. It's like it's like. Play Doh or blue tack or anything clay, like that. Basically, so what like it does, it removes the contaminants sitting on the surface of the paint. So if you run your hand on the paint and you can hear it, it sounds a bit like sandpaper, or you can feel it like it's dragging a bit from tree sap or road tar or anything that's sitting on the surface. Clay is the easiest way of removing that. Right now, it won't change how the paint looks. Okay, and that's when we move on to the enhancement using compounds, polishes, and waxes. Yep, but it changes how the paint feels, so it goes from being you know rough textured finish to a nice smooth glass finish. Okay, which then means we've got the basis to then use products to remove swirls and scratches. Because right. if you don't clay before doing that, you can run the risk of pushing that further into the surface, creating more scratches and swirls. Right, that's going to be the aim of today's video, teaching me and you guys how to use this sort of stuff. I'm excited. I think. Um, Previously, a lot of people have been dubious. Yeah, if you go back 10 years, um, it was very much a process that you would pay a valeter to do. Yeah. Um, sort of because it looks, you know, it's, it's pretty hard to touch. It, yeah. it looks quite a process and quite complicated. It's actually one of the simplest forms of car care. It's one of the simplest forms of detailing as well. Okay. Um, so, key is get it nice and malleable, um, which I learned means soft and sticky. Yes. Um, so, the softer you get this, the easier it is to work with. Amazing. Now, Clay should always be used with a detailer. So we suggest not using water on its own because water doesn't have the lubricity that the detailer does. Right, okay. Now, on the flip side, we don't want you to be using your expensive detailers either. Yeah. Now, this is our bog standard quick detailer. This is providing nothing else other than a slippery surface for clay. Sweet. Our more advanced detailers may break clay down okay. just because of the properties they have inside them. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Right, well, let's crack on. Let's do this. Uh, I'm going to take you off the tripod. What we're really covering on here is the basics. And again, if, if you are well into your detailing and you know the basics of car care, maybe it's not the video for you. But if you are new to this, you're new to Meguiar's, you're new to our processes and products, this can be a great introduction to our different shampoos, different processes, and little things like two bucket method and grit guards. If you're not already part of the Meguiar's UK YouTube channel, subscribe and let's crack on with the clay video. Cool beans. So we talked earlier, uh, in the previous video, about evalu evaluating the surface. Yeah. Now evaluating the surface is looking at the car. Um, we can clearly see that the car's in need of a bit of a swell removal, uh, which is fine. Oh yeah. But it's also touching the car as well, obviously making sure it's clean, which we have cleaned this beforehand. Now, you can hear that, right? That's mad. So that's contaminants sitting in the clear coat. So you can't necessarily see these contaminants, but you can feel them. Yeah. Um, and that's just for road use. It's when the, the grime kind of hits the car at a bit of speed or a bit of heat, and it kind of embeds itself into the clear, clear okay. coat. Get the surface nice and wet with the detailer. Again, we use this because it has the lubricity. And that means that we can glide over the surface nice and easily. Clay is nice and malleable. So you want to go to about five centimeter disc, just so enough so you can put your fingers over it like this. And then, clean straight lines now the temptation automatically is to go in circles it's kind of a ma uh, natural motion yeah but straight lines you can clearly see where you've been and it keeps everything nice and regimented and I like me a system <laughs> you love me I a love a system. system so once I've gone in straight lines I then go the opposite way now this is a process you'll probably see us do in most things whether or not it's removing wax detailers washing the car the hashtag effect yeah exactly that right. hashtag polishing Nice one. Like I said, I'm not using any pressure, just fingertip pressure. So there's no need to see the suspension going up and down. If if you show us the clay, will that have a visual difference to see what it's picked up? Yeah, definitely. Uh, Obviously the bonnet's not too bad, but you can see there's a bit of grey areas around here. Yeah, Obviously, you can see the little black spots as well in the clay. Um, so, once you've worked an area, get a clean towel, and again, 
wipe the surface down, there's no need to wash the car. Um, as long as you're doing it in cool conditions, the product's not gonna dry on the surface. So you just wanna wipe it off like this. Now, nothing has visually changed about the, about the paint, but now, no sound. Get your, get your face close to it and I'll wipe. There's literally nothing. There's nothing. That's awesome. Yep, so for now, so now, now. So now, so now we've worked an area. The key is to knead and fold the clay. So it means that you're pushing that contaminant into the center. So if you just constantly just use the same bit, it's, you're just gonna be, you're pushing, just gonna be pushing it around. So get it nice and fold it out again. If you find that no matter what you do, you've got a dirty kind of piece of surface, clay. Yeah. that's when you use another bit. Okay. Now, we didn't mention this earlier, um, so we'll mention it now. This is one bar of clay. Okay. But we always make sure to break it in half. So if you do have any mishaps, like dropping it on the floor or anything. Yeah, dropping it on the floor. Away. Exactly right. If you, if you do drop it on the floor, you definitely don't want to be using it again. So because it is clay, it will pick up literally anything that's on the floor or on the paint. So if you drop it, get rid of it. So top, top tip number one, half the clay. So if you do lose a piece, you can use the other half. Top tip number two, use loads of lubrication. The quick detailer won't enhance anything other than lubricate the surface for your clay to glide over the top. And top tip number three, work in like a hashtag effect so you never miss an area. Never give yourself too much to do, work a panel at a time. Dale, we were saying that you can actually see the clay picking up the dirt and stuff that's on the paint. Yeah, definitely. And you know, even though the car's been cleaned and prepped, we're still picking up all this dirt and grime that's in the clear coat. You cannot see, you know, through the naked eye. You know, so it's not until you see it on the clay do you realise how much this car needed to be clayed. That is filthy. So a beginner like myself, it's very easy to do, very easy to learn how to do, and it's not a long process. It's very short and simple. Um, and this really gives you the base layer on what to go on to next. Mm -hmm. So it creates a nice smooth surface for our next step, which is paint correction. Which will be in the next video. Didn't think you were going to get two stages in one, did you? Crazy fools, you. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you liked watching us play my BMW, and if you learned something about this, leave a little comment below. So, if you need any help and advice about our products, um, about Maguire's techniques, um, anything to do with our product information, shows and events, anything like that, you can contact us directly for our website through the Contact Us page, or you can contact us directly through Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and we're always on hand to help, whether or not it's product advice or anything to do with detailing whatsoever. Do you want to? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you... 101. Okay. Great into the video. <laughs>